Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am going to be using this cute little crate here that I got from the Dollar Tree in their new craft section. I think these are so adorable. And we're going to turn this guy into a, a wagon so we can decorate him up for whatever. I mean, you can paint it, stain it, whatever you want to do with these. And I've got these little guys at Walmart that I'm going to actually put in the back of this little wagon when it's all done. And this was, um, I forget how much this was. I think it was $1.89. It wasn't very expensive at all. It's got a little extra glue on it here, I see, but that's all right. Um, and you're going to need some paint, so I'm going to be using some red and brown. I'm going to mix a little brown in with my red to make it a little bit of a darker color. And I have some black, and I have some of this metallic paint that I'm going to use. And then you're also going to need... Um, just one of these dowels. These are from the Dollar Tree too. You get 12 of these. And these are the 6 inch dowels. And you're going to need a um, popsicle stick. I'm going to be using the wider one. You can use the more narrow ones too. You don't have to use one this big. And for the wheels, I was walking around looking for something. I just couldn't find the right size. And then I was at Walmart and I checked into the section where they have like the ironing boards and the irons and things and they have these little um, they're called cedar rings that you hang on your hangers to make your clothes you know smell cedary and keep out the moths or whatever and you get 12 of these and I think I can't remember exactly the price they were under four dollars I don't know if they were 398 probably that seems to be a uh, price for the Walmart to price things out with the 98 and like I said you get 12 of these and these were the perfect size for the wheels. They already have the holes and everything. So that worked out great because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use. I didn't seem to have anything here that was quite the right size. So I think that's all we're going to need except for whatever we're going to put in here at the end after it's all done. So the first thing we need to do is just to get everything painted. So let me get a piece of my scrap paper here to put underneath here. And we could start with the wheels. I'm just going to do one. You guys um, don't need to watch me paint all of these, but I found that if this only takes, and I just use it in the lid, I don't even have the time pour it out into anything, but um, these covered really well with just one coat of black paint. So that's all I'm going to do with these is just put one coat of black paint on here and that will be our wheel. Now for the center of the wheel, I didn't mention that part, you could use anything. You could use a button, you could use whatever you can find, and you want to make sure that you paint the inside too, uh, just so that's not all that red color. Just get in there with a little black paint. So see, that covers really well with just the one coat, which is nice. I like things where I can just do it in one coat. Um, I have these little things, because I get this paint off me. These I got from, I think I ordered these through Wish. They're just like these little button things just to decorate things with or whatever. And um, so I'm going to use four of those. And for those, they're going to go on the center of the wheel here like this. Just like so, like your little hubcap. And I'm going to paint them with the silver metallic paint. So let me put this away here for a minute. I just want to give you guys an idea of all the colors. So we're just going to take that little guy there and just a little bit of the silver metallic and paint him up. It doesn't take much to paint these guys. And that is, I'm going to push him to the side there so he doesn't get stuck. So those are going to be our little hubcaps. <clears throat> now for the handle, you know, you need a handle to pull your wagon, of course. That is what we're going to be using um, the popsicle stick and the little dowel. So the popsicle stick I am cutting at um, two inches and all I did with this was I took my wire cutters, you could use a, an old knife or an old pair of scissors or something, and I just kind of squeezed it on this side and then that makes a nice line for you there. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because this is going to be underneath and you're not going to see it. And then I just did it on the other side too, and then just 
bend it back and forth and it snaps right off. And then it's always good to have a little piece of sandpaper and then all you got to do is just take it and rub it back and forth a few times and it <clears throat> takes your rough edges off here. Okay, so we have that piece and that piece is going to attach underneath here. And then for the dowel, where did my dowel go? This I also cut, I just used my wire cutters again for this and I cut one piece at three and three quarters inches and that's like right about here I already marked this one and I just kind of went around this one and these are very soft so I just went around it a few times and then popped it off there you go and then you just need to get your rough edge off here with your sandpaper there and then for the handle part, I might clip the rest of this wood off here that didn't come off. I cut another piece at an inch and a quarter and I'm just gonna do the same thing here with this one. Like I said, you could use an old pair of scissors because all you need is just squeeze it in here and make that line to pop it off and they come apart pretty easy. So let me get rid of that piece because I don't need it. And then you just gonna sand down the ends again. There we go. So, now all those we're going to paint black also. Um, let me see. Actually, you could paint that the silver color if you wanted to, but I'm going to stick with my black theme here. So, let me just do that real quick. And then I will flip these over later and do the other side. And I think these are probably going to need two coats because the lighter wood, it seems to show through a little bit more. And then the same thing with your little dowels. You're just going to paint them up nice and black. And then when that end dries, I'll pick it up. I'll just pop it right in here in my little plastic dish. And then I'll just paint the other end when I can grab hold of it. <clears throat> so yeah, these are definitely going to need two coats. Alright, let me let this dry. So I wanted to get started on this. Um, I don't like video on it at night, but it is kind of getting dark already. But I want this everything to be able to dry so I can finish this up tomorrow. Well, it'll still be today for you guys, but tomorrow for me. Alright, so that's everything that we need to paint black. And now for the um, little crate here, oh, let's see. Let me get one, another one of these little dishes here, because I'm going to need more, a lot more paint for this. So I'm going to be using this. This is the um, Imperial Red, and I think this is going to be a little bit too red. And I'm going to need a lot of this, so I'm squeezing out a lot of this. And then I want to add just a little bit of brown to it. I don't know exactly. It depends on how dark you want it. Just start out with a little bit, mix it up, and you can kind of go from there. Let's see. i got this popsicle stick here I can use. Just didn't want it so bright red. Actually, I think I'm going to put a couple drops of the black in. I just love mixing paints. Not too much of that. Alright, that's making me a little bit darker. Alright, maybe I will add just a little bit more of the black. There we go. That's giving it a really nice deep red. Now this is going to be our wagon color. 
Okay. So now what we're going to do is just paint this whole um, crate red. Yeah, I like that color. That's going to be nice. I always slop paint on, but after you, you tend to slop it on like I do, um, just make sure that all your brush strokes go in the same direction because then it gives it a nice clean finish. And it's not going all over the place. And you want to get inside your handles here too. And I'm thinking this may take one coat. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's pretty. And we're going to paint the bottom, we're going to paint the whole thing on here. Um, you probably don't need to paint the very bottom of this because it's going to be filled up with stuff. But, you know, if you're going to use it for different times of the year and you want to take the things out, you might want to just paint the whole thing just to make it look nice. So that is the color we're going to paint this. So I think I'm going to stop this video for now. Because you guys get the gist. You want to get in these creases here too. They're little crate creases. I think this is a lovely wagon color. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this side up real quick here. I really think this is just going to need the one coat. Alright, I think that's going to be adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this up and wait for all of my pieces. Do the other four wheels in black and my other four little um, thingamabobbies here. They're like little pearl clusters, I guess you could call them. Uh, but like I said, you can use anything. Any little round thing you can find, a button or whatever, and just you know give it like a little metallic finish or whatever you want to do. So I will be back to finish this as soon as this stuff all gets dry. Okay, all my paint is nice and dry now. So um, I did go ahead and put some of these on here on my little wheels that I use. Like I said, you can use a button, whatever you have. And if you want to paint it or maybe you'll find one the right color. And um, these just barely fit on here. So what I did with these little ones is I just kind of matched it up and actually glued it from underneath um, because there wasn't really a lot there to hold, hold it on. But that seemed to work really good, so. And that should hold just fine because I put quite a bit of glue in there. Alright, so now the first thing I want to do is I want to put this little uh, piece that's going to hold up the handle for the wagon. I'm going to put that on first on the bottom here. And I already marked a spot for it. Oh, and the other thing that I did decide I wanted to do is I added some of these little snowflakes that I had. I mean, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just thought I'd add a little something to it. I mean, if you want to use this for like all different kinds of occasions, you probably wouldn't want to do that. But this one I'm making just for Christmas. All right, so I'm going to take, whoops, come back here. My little wood piece, I actually made a mark with a pencil here on where I want it to go. And I'm going to use some of this um, three-in-one beacon glue. This stuff works really well. Um, the wood glue from Dollar Tree. I was going to try that, but it says you can't use it on painted. It has to be, you know, like just regular wood without any paint or stain on it. So we're not going to use that on here. So I'm going to try this, and I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to hold it there for me while it dries. My little glue clamp, I call it. And I'm just going to glue that right on there. And then that'll have time to dry a bit while we're working on the rest of it. Oh, 
All right, so now it's time just to attach our wheels. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to put these, I'm not even going to measure, I'm just going to put one like right here and just over a little bit here. And I'm going to put it right up to this first line here in the crate. So I'm going to add some of this glue here. I think, I don't want to get it down where I don't need it. All right. Of course, I'm going to put a little hot glue on here to hold it while that dries. And we're just going to go ahead and stick them right on. And I like this beacon glue. This stuff works really well. I keep forgetting to turn it back over because it takes, it's kind of thick. But I really like that glue a lot. And then just to give it a little extra something, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue down here. You don't have to do this, but since I'm going to keep working on it here while we're videoing, I don't want it to come apart. But if you just let it sit with the other glue, it'll be fine. Let it sit overnight or something. But we're going to keep going. So I'm just going to do the same thing with the rest of the wheels. I think that looks cute right there. I'm just going to add a little bit more hot glue under here to hold it. And that should work good. And you won't see that. It's going to be underneath. Look how cute. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the wheels onto the other side and then we're going to come back and actually well I'm uh, going to put the rest of my snowflakes on but um, then we can start decorating this thing and then after I get everything in here that I want I'm going to then I'll put on the um, little handle here so hang on one second okay for these little snowflakes here I keep calling them star snowflakes there's little plastic snowflakes. I just put a little tiny bit of hot glue here on the back. I measured the center. I started out with the center one even, so it would be or so it would be more even. And then I just kind of place those in between, like so. And then I just put one on the ends. And I don't know. I may add a couple more. I don't know. I don't want too too much on it, but I just thought that added something for it for a Christmas decoration. Okay, so now all you have to do is figure out what you want to put on the inside of your little wagon. Now I found that this um, floral foam, this is the real squishy foam, it's typically used for, you know, live flowers so you can put water on it and stuff, but this stuff is very light and it's very easy to stick things into, so when you're decorating you won't be putting like a lot of pressure on this thing, and it just fit perfect. All I had to do was just... I just kind of measured it here. I took my handy dandy old kitchen knife and I just sliced it off and it fits right in there. Just perfect. So that's great. Now I'm going to have to figure out what to do here. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a piece of red paper or something behind that. Or I'll just have something sticking out of it. We shall see. All right, so now I just took a whole bunch of these picks. I always pick these up at the Dollar Tree. And um, I'm just going to like cut off a whole bunch of these different pieces that I want to use in here. And then my little um, ornament that I got from uh, Walmart, I actually took a piece of a shish kebab stick. I broke that off. You could use a piece of the wire from the flowers that, you know, after you've cut it off. And I just hot glued it on the back here so... When I figure out exactly where I want him, I can just stick him right down in there. And that holds really good. So let me go ahead and cut a bunch of this stuff off, and then we'll come back and decorate it. Okay, I cut a bunch of these off. I may need some more, but this is pretty much what's left of my little picks. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to use these. They're, they're kind of nice, but they really don't fill in very well. So I figured I'm going to put these guys maybe a little bit towards the back here. I don't want them exactly centered. I just thought they would look cute like riding in the back of the wagon. So I'm going to leave them right there like that. And then all you have to do is just fill in with some of your pines and things. Um, to cover up your um, floral foam. And if you put them like kind of like an, on an angle and not straight down, it'll cover up a lot more space for you. See what I mean? You just kind of don't put them straight down. If you put them straight down in, it doesn't do too much for you. But if you put them on an angle, um, you can cover up a lot more space here. And I just kind of want to fill in back here with these. And I should have took my sticker off, but I'm not going to see the back of this anyway. I want to have this sitting up. Um, if you wanted to see the back, you'd probably have to want to cover this up with some kind of pretty paper or something that, that would uh, cover up all this stuff. But there is the back of our ornament. And then I did paint some of these little pine cones. I love these little tiny pine cones. I think I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby. I got a giant bag of them. I think they were like five bucks or something, but um, last forever. I forget how many is in there. I think I'm going to add a little pine cone right there. And then I'm going to do some more of this pine. I'm going to get to get some more of this out. definitely didn't cut enough of this. But see, this stuff is nice, and I kind of like this pine, but it really does not cover anything very well. And this will also help hold your little guy in place, too. And bend that one back up there. And you can also use these. I actually might pull out some of these and use them. Um, kind of want to mix them in now that I'm looking at it, but these fill in pr pretty well too. These are those uh, pine ties. I forget what they call them at the Dollar Tree. They're on a wire, so you could like hook things on your banisters and stuff with your garland. Garland ties, I think that's what they're called. And if you just kind of fluff them up a little bit, actually, I may just mix some of these in here. Let's see how that looks. I think that'll look nice with the different colored pines. So that's what I'm going to do because I don't have a ton of the other color. Um, I do all have a few more picks I can tear apart. But we're going to mix these in here. Flatter too, so if you want to decorate a little bit more, I'm going to keep this little guy's bells out here. There we go. All right, so let me pull a couple more of these from back here. Now that I've changed my mind again, you guys know I do that frequently. No one's going to care. There. All right. All right, let me go ahead and cut a few more of those, and I'm going to fill this in back here, and um, then we'll come back and finish putting on our cute little decorations. Okay, I got that all filled in nicely there. 
There's one spot. Oh, there we go. All right. So now I have some of these greens that I cut off of one of the picks. Um, I want to use some of these berries in here. So I'm going to clip those off. These come off easier with scissors. So I figured I'd put a little bit of this pine in here. And then a few of the berries. Let's see where I cut it off. those right down on top of that and then add a little pine cone. Like so. And I'm going to add another pine cone over here on the end. And then of course we need some more berries in here. <coughs> I don't know if I want too much more of this stuff. Yeah, actually, I might stick that one down on that side of the pine cone. That kind of looks cool. You just mess around with it. Figure out where you want to put things. I just love this decoration. I thought this was cute, this little ornament from... It's got a lot of glue on it. They're worse with their glue than I am. And I'm a crazy glue web person. few more berries in here. And I think that's about it. I may stick a few more pine cones back there. But I don't want to add too much. Um, I think I'm going to put one of these in the back here, just to stick out of the side. And another little pine cone here. And I think that's pretty much all I want to do. I think that is so cute. Okay, so now all we have to do is put on our little handle, which is going to be easy peasy. But this is kind of delicate, so you know you got to kind of be a little careful with it um, because we're just going to be hot gluing this on. And I'm just going to hot glue it to this stick here, and then right onto that. Well, actually, I'm going to have to glue it onto my snowflake that I put there. But that's all right. So I'm just going to put. Make sure I'm in a camera here. Some hot glue right on here. And you may have to paint over that once it dries. And then I'm going to have to put a little hot glue on my little thingy up there. All right, now we're going to let that dry. Or you could actually have it standing up more if you want to, but I figured it would just be a little more stable if we attached it to the wagon. So, you could see a little bit of the hot glue down there, but that's, you need, really need something good to hold it on. So I'm going to put a little more, and then I'm just going to paint over that if it needs to. It really doesn't show too much. All right, and then the only other thing, you have to put your little handle on here. I'm just going to put some hot glue on top of here. You don't need much. These are very light. And then just glue the little handle down. Easy peasy. And there's your little wagon. And that's kind of why I want to put these to the back in an angle. That way you could turn it a little bit. Oh, I need to touch that up with a little bit of black paint. Um, and you you know, have it kind of on an angle so you can see your little handle and everything. And, yeah. So I think that's all I want to do to this. I don't want to put too much in here. I don't want it to be crazy. 
So let me clean this mess up here so we can get a good look at it. I may stick a couple more berries in um, just to brighten it up on the back side here a little more, maybe over here. So we'll see how this looks all cleaned up and set up when we come back. All right, everyone, there it is. I think that's so cute. I just love those ornaments. And I think the wagon came out great. You know, when you get something pictured in your head, that's why I had to go on the mad hunt for these wheels. <laughs> doesn't always turn out that, but I'm very happy that this turned out good. And there is your little handle in the front. You could do that in the silver, too, if you want it to show up a little better. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is I solved the problem for seeing the foam through the holes. I just stuck in a couple pieces of the pine that I cut off, and uh, that solved that little problem. But that is my crafting project for today, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone.